This is one of my favorite stories. It was originally written by the Flying W. Wranglers, and it, I liked it so much, and it fits well within my family, that um, I rewrote it. And we always told us right around Christmas, and because uh, it was just such a special part of the family, and Mom would be cooking in the kitchen, the pats would be rattling around, and and it was just such a special time, such that cozy, warm feeling. And uh, so I really hope that you enjoy um, this poem. Again, it's called A Christmas Bear. Enjoy. When Yuletide tales are told and season greetings shared, at the Reinhardt family ranch, we'll never forget that Christmas bear. It was the night before Christmas, or evening at least, and us boys were expecting a holiday feast. The coffee had boiled down past what man could endure, and anything it didn't kill, it would cure. So Mom made some biscuits and set them to rise, and visions of sourdough danced in her eyes. Robert's eyes were glazed, he was rubbing his tummy. He's crazy for biscuits, with plenty of honey. Well, we were all in awe of these newly cooked treats, but fresh out of the oven, they were too hot to eat. So we set them to rise on the back window sill when a woolly old bear wandered up for his fill. Now, normally, we wouldn't face down a bear, but when it came to a biscuit thief, we didn't care. Yeah, we were so mad at the loss of our muffins, we went after old Wooly to knock out his stuffings. Then my brother David said, it'd be much less fuss if we just set a bear trap. Let him come to us. So we cleared out the tack room and triggered the door and set a golden brown biscuit right there on the floor. Then we sat back and waited for our burglar to come. Well, we all slept well that night, deep in our dreams, but awoke Christmas morning to guffaws and screams. I figured we'd caught that old bear by the paw, but I was not prepared for the sight that I saw. For we'd also caught Robert in our yuletide lure, he was backing that bear off the biscuit for sure. They fought for that sourdough two falls out of three, and Robert, he won both one, two, and three. Then I heard old Wooly the Bear whisper under his breath, If we had fought for a pie, he would have beat me to death. When Yuletide tales are told, and season greetings shared, at the Reinhardt family ranch, we'll never forget that Christmas bear.